is going to be my beauty subscription showdown for February. And if you guys were with me last month, you know that I didn't get to do this video and I was so bummed out because my birch box actually came super late. I thought it got lost. I ended up getting it and they ended up sending me a replacement, so I got two. So last month was just kind of crazy. But if I recall correctly, Birchbox won, even though it was late. It was totally worth the wait. So we're back to the normal style of video where I'm going to be opening Birchbox and Ipsy. And if you're interested in signing up for these, my links will be down below. But I'm going to begin with Birchbox, so let's go ahead and hop right in. So now that we are on Birchbox side, I want you to say hi to Lily. Lilers! And as you can see, she strategically placed my hair tie. Um, right where you guys can see it, right behind me, because that, I swear, is like one of her favorite toys. It's so funny. She'll like sniff them out if they're on my wrist and like pull at them until I give it to her. It's so funny. But back to Birchbox. So it came looking a little bit different this month, and I actually really like this packaging. All right, so as I open it up, I kind of suspected something. So I think they're teaming with US Weekly for this box. So I'm pretty excited to see what I got in here. So this month's theme was Step and Repeat, and they have a really cute little picture on there. As always, all of the products are on the back. So I'm loving the red tissue paper this month. So cute. And guys, here is my box. So I might as well pull out the biggest thing, and this is from DDF, which is a brand that I've recently gotten. Maybe not recently, but I have gotten it in previous boxes. And this is their Ultra Life Oil-Free Moisturizing Dew. So I'm really excited to see that this is a moisturizing product because my skin is very dry right now. First of all, loving, loving the packaging. It's so, so cute and so handy because it has a little pump. So going to the card, I already told you guys the name, but the full size is $42, so this is pretty pricey. And it just is pretty much a moisturizer for your skin. So I'm quickly going to pump some out to see what the consistency is. And it's not super creamy, it's almost really thick thin, but I'm excited to try this because it doesn't feel like it's going to be too heavy. Next up, I'm pulling out a product from Kula, and I have gotten this before. Maybe not this exact one, but this brand. And this is a tinted matte SPF 30 for face. Full size is $36. So let's see, it just sounds like an SPF, and it's a mineral sunscreen. And I don't know, I've gotten these kind of products in the past and I really just don't seem to use them. Just because my CeraVe moisturizer does already have SPF 30, so I kind of just tend to lose these little samples, but I definitely think that these could come in handy during the summertime. And I'm just realizing that this has a tint to it. Okay, duh, tinted matte SPF, but as far as coverage, it doesn't look like it has much at all. And it really does blend out nicely. So I could totally see myself throwing this in a bag if I have a beach bag or something. If I'm even going to the beach, who knows. But I definitely think it's a product that would be nice to take with you on the go. Okay, so I don't know what's really up with this. I got one of these last month and I haven't used it yet. Sorry Birchbox, but this is the 100% Pure Fruit Pigmented Mascara. Full size is $18. I remember this smelling really fruity and it still kind of does which kind of creeps me out just a little bit <laughs> but like I said I still haven't used the one I got last month and the packaging is cute but um, it's probably not totally their fault because I did receive a replacement box so they probably didn't know that I already got this but yeah not totally totally feeling this sample. Diving into this little package right here and I have no idea it looks like there's two products in here one being a perfume so we might as well get this one out of the way and on here it says a hard Harvey Prince, which I believe I got Harvey Prince Journey last month and I didn't care for it too much. So this is Hello and the full size is $55. So once again, packaging is pretty cute. Um, it's like green and yellow, really pretty. And I remember the packaging last month being really pretty too, but let's see. Okay. I already got a whiff and I already like it a little bit more than that Journey one. So it's a little bit strange, but I'm actually kind of liking it. And I think it's here it says it has Meyer lemon, mandarin, grapefruit, forsythia, and plumeria. So it is fairly floral, which is what I tend to really, really enjoy. And it smells super summery to me, so I definitely think I like this a lot better than the one I got last month. 
Alright, so the last thing out of that little package was from a brand that I have talked about before and that I do recognize. So this is the Agave Healing Oil Oil Treatment. Now I just realized, guys, that this is the same thing that I already have. So I did receive this bigger version in a trio from Sephora and it contained the shampoo and conditioner from Agave as well. And if you want to know more information on those, they were just in my last empties video. So even though I'm a little bummed out that I already own this product, it is a good one that I do enjoy using on my damp hair before I comb it out and it really does make my hair shiny and it makes it kind of all flow together and even on dry hair I've noticed it working pretty well. So this birch box was a little bit different for me because it's the very first time that I've ever received five products that I've heard about or from brands that I've already tried. So I'm not completely happy just because I do like trying out new brands, but the products I did receive were pretty nice. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to give Birchbox a four out of 10 this month, and as much as I love the moisturizer, the added SPF product, and even the perfume, I wasn't really blown away by any of the products. So let's go ahead and see how Ipsy compares. All right, so the bag this month is very, very pink, and Again, they've done away with the card that's inside the little package, so little white zipper, pink bag, not one of my favorites, but the shape is a little bit different, I think, which I'm kind of liking. So pulling out the little card for this month, the theme is the look of love. So I'm really, really liking the little lips and the little hearts on here. And as always, all of the products that are on sale through Ipsy this month are listed on the back. Pulling out the first product, it's a little foil packet from a Skin Iceland brand, and it says Solutions for Stressed Skin. It's an activating gel and blue clay, I guess, masks. So I will probably give these a try. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the foil packets, but they do seem like one-time use things. And they are from a brand that I've never really tried before, and I do like the packaging. So these aren't too bad, and I'm kind of excited to try a new face mask. Moving right along, I am pulling out, whoa, what is this? It looks kind of like a lip gloss packaging, but to me it might be like an eyeshadow. Let's see, on the bottom it says it's in violette or something. Okay, yeah, it's totally an eyeshadow. Glad I didn't put this on my lips. So here's a little swatch. I hope you can see that it is a really pretty purple color. But like I said, I'll have more close-up pictures over on my blog. So I'm kind of liking this. I don't have any eyeshadows like this in this color. So kind of neat, but I just wish I had more information, almost like that Birchbox card to kind of read about all of these things. So next up is a brand that I have received and I have gotten another pair of eyelashes from this brand and it's J-Cat Beauty. And to be quite honest, I did not love the last ones I got. They were too thick and you could really see where they started and where they stopped. So I'm not a huge fan of these lashes and quite honestly, I probably won't use these. So the next thing I'm pulling out is this lip gloss, I guess from Pop Beauty. And it looks really like a really pretty pink color and it looks pretty opaque from what I'm seeing. And it's in Fuchsia Freesia, I think, but I'm not gonna open this right this second because I actually have my nails done. And I hate peeling off these little plastic things. So I'll make sure to include pictures a million times over on the blog for that but the last thing guys I am really excited about so this is another Zoya nail polish and I think I have gotten one full size in Ipsy before and even one smaller size in Birchbox but I'm hoping I'm loving the color I swear I say that every time I get a nail polish but let's pray and hope that it's a color that I'll actually really love I'm not a huge fan of these like nude pinky colors this one is in dot and the only worry that I have with these kind of polishes is that if they're not opaque, I am not going to love them. I really hate when I even add two or three coats of a color like this and I can still see my nail underneath. I just do not understand the point of a nail polish that isn't going to cover your whole nail opaquely. It drives me kind of nuts, which is why I'm ranting right now. But I do like the idea of having a really soft, really natural-like pink nail polish on. But like I said, if this doesn't go on super opaquely, I am not going to be a happy camper. So everyone, we are navigating uncharted territory because I really feel like Birchbox and Ipsy tied for this month, which is something new that has never occurred on these beauty subscription showdowns. But I think I am going to give Ipsy a 4 out of 10 as well, just because normally that nail polish would bump up the score. But since it was in a color that I don't see myself wearing a whole lot, I'm going to rate it a 4. So what else can we do? So guys, that is all that I have in this video for you today. What did you? 
receive in your subscriptions this month, please leave me a comment down below. I would absolutely love to know because I'm super nosy, but I always like hearing if we got the same bag or the same box or not. So like I said, let me know down below. Also, I'm going to have a few links down there for my Birchbox, my Ipsy, my blog, and all of my social media and things. But really quickly, before I let you go, I have a little favor to ask you. Drum and I are actually participating in a little photo contest through a place called Studio 22 Photography. And they're really just a local photography place here in Ohio. And the winner will receive a free one hour photo session. And Drum and I have never professionally got our photos taken. So I would really appreciate it if you guys took two seconds out of your day to go vote for us. All you have to do is click the first link that's listed down below. That's going to take you to an album over on Facebook on the Studio 22 page. And all you have to do is like the photo of Jerome and I. And then to get an extra vote, all you have to do is like the Studio 22 photography page. So thank you, thank you, thank you times a million if you guys go vote for Jerome and I. I would just love to have some new pictures of us to put around my room and things. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I seriously cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye everyone!